Hello again, lovely people. Uh, we're just going to do a quick update. Nova's hood is off because we have one little glitch that was found by Eric Ninja over on the Discord server. Much appreciation goes out to him for that. It turns out to be the same issue that we had with the remote not too long ago. Me miswiring the voltage regulator. So it's really just replies to people applies to people who are using the PCB and it's a fairly easy fix and shouldn't have caused any damage worst case scenario you weren't getting feedback on your battery draining and you may have drained a lipo but nobody complained to me as such so i don't think anybody suffered the consequence i however did by the way i killed one of my lipos with the same reason before and before i figured out what was going on like i said hats off to eric again for taking care of it for us Okay, that's the beauty of the community. I love you guys for all the help and assistance and design tweaks and such that you've helped me through, and let's keep pressing on and get this project done. Okay, so I'm booting up Nova right now. What I have managed to do today, I'm going to boot up the remote as well, is finish off two-way communication between Nova and the remote. So now the remote will receive data from Nova as well as Nova receiving data from the remote. If we watch when the remote boots up here, the top screen, well, let's start at the bottom screen. So those numbers are applying to our four potentiometers here. Uh, the two that I'm really using right now is, is speed and steps, which is the top and bottom number on the left. So Nova has booted now because we're getting feedback, and we get Nova's battery voltage on the remote as well now, too. So if I go ahead and adjust the speed, you'll see that top number 15 change. In the case of no, uh, Nova, the lower the number, the faster the speed. So I still have to tweak the pots a little bit to make them a little smoother because you have to move pretty slow to, to scroll through the numbers like that. And then same for steps. And I'll show you... Well, let's get her marching here, actually. So there she goes. So if I crank up the speed... My battery is sustainably charged at over 11 volts. Thank you, Nova. And then if we adjust the steps, you can see the effect that has. Quite a, quite a jump there. Sorry about that. Like I said, we need to tweak the potentiometers a bit more still to make them smoother. Let's see if I can make it go a little smoother down. Yeah, not really. It jumps 20, 30 at a time. Eee, she's spasming. But anyhow, you get the idea, guys. So that's going to work now. We get this two-way communication going where she's giving us this feedback here as well as the voltage. So yeah, pretty cool. And like I said in my previous video, my next video this weekend, not tonight's video, should be her back on the ground walking pretty well. Now that I'm happy with all this, just tweak the potentiometers a little bit on the remote and we'll be back in business so let me just pick up the camera a minute here guys and show you what i was talking about as far as the voltage regulator goes so on the pcb we have the onboard voltage regulator which consists of those two resistors right there you can see how i fixed it and again the fix even was thanks to eric so this resistor here you have to disconnect from its pad there on the left and then connect it to the right side of this potentiometer instead and that's it once you do that you'll be back in business so no harm done except like I said unfortunately if any of you blew out a light bulb my apologies but I do not believe anybody but I did all right, guys, thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you most likely Sunday morning with Nova walking on the ground. Take care.